Welcome to jasonnewlands.com My name is Jason Newlands and this is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes There's nothing to do Just It's about relaxing Just focusing on my voice there's nothing to think about, nothing to say. And before I continue, just to let you know that I have other podcasts, of also sleep ones. So just let me bore you to sleep where I just talk complete nonsense for about an hour. I've also got Sleep Hypnosis Weekly and another one which is uh, Relax. It's hypnosis for stress and anxiety so you know there's a few different podcasts so I'd like you to get yourself comfortable whatever that means for you I'm going to talk about laying down on your bed but I'm aware that not everybody is able to do that whether it's for physical reasons or otherwise so when I talk about laying down, your body relaxes automatically, your head touches the pillow and your mind slows down. What you could do is just, just change that for your own circumstances. So if you're sitting up in bed, you can just maybe allow your head to touch the pillow if it is already and do it that way or you can imagine that you're lying down in bed your body relaxes automatically and your head touches the pillow your mind starts to slow down if you're listening sitting in a chair a comfortable chair make sure that that chair can support your body during sleep it's very important now, I'm going to ask you to just imagine Imagine your head, the top of your head In your mind, the top of your head is able to just open up I don't know if you remember this, a bit like an old James Bond film where they had, it looked like a, a mountain or a volcano, but actually it was a secret um, a baddie lair, you know, where the baddies lived. And it opened up at the top. Of course, inside your head, it's got nothing to do with James Bond. Imagine you could open the top of your head and you may or may know this the brain, your brain, my brain, everyone's brain has no sense organs it doesn't feel anything so once the scalp is moved along in your mind your brain can't feel pain at all your brain can't feel stress it can't feel anything but everything all those feelings pain stress awakeness sleepiness anger calmness relaxation it's all created by the brain. Although the brain itself has no feelings, those feelings are then triggered, stimulated and sent to the different parts of the body, which means you have control because the control center is your brain. I mean, literally, 
control center is your brain and you telling your brain what you want. Now what we're going to do is I want you to imagine just putting your hands gently inside your scalp and gently massaging your brain. And as you massage your brain gently, really gently, it stimulates a sense of deep, deep, pleasurable relaxation spreading down your spinal cord and then into every single part of your body instantly, lightning fast. Now you can imagine you can actually move your hands and fingers inside the brain, massaging inside, knowing that it's your brain and you're safe and your brain is fine and this is in your mind anyway and you can just feel the sensations of calmness being stimulated in all different parts of your brain as you realize that even though the brain has different parts for different things that sense of comfort, relaxation and even deep sleep is available all around it and also within it because we're born with this natural ability to relax deeply and to sleep easily and sometimes it is just a case of stimulating that activity stimulating your brain to send that signal of sleepiness, relaxed sleepiness, down your spinal cord into every single muscle of your body, lightning fast. It happens before you even realise it. It's almost like it's happening before you want it to happen. It's instant. You know, people talk about instant coffee. That's not instant. This is instant. I'm not comparing the brain stem and the spinal cord and falling asleep to instant coffee, but I'm just saying. It really is instant. And whatever you search for inside your brain, that's what you get. So if you search for a feeling of pleasure in your chest, for example, just to feel nice and feel tender and pleasurable, you can search for that feeling. And it will stimulate that feeling in your brain. And you'll feel almost like a rush of blood to your chest. And it will feel nice. Or if there was a part of your body that was uh, causing you discomfort before you decided to listen to me. Let's say, for example, for me, it's my lower back. I can stimulate my brain like you can. Looking for that trigger, for that. It could, it could be like a light switch, really. Just searching for it. But with that intention in your mind of reducing the discomfort in that part of your body. Or you could 
just decide to introduce pleasure into that part of your body because pleasure can't be together with the pain it's no longer pain or you can introduce deep relaxation into that part of your body you can't have I, my lower back can't feel deeply relaxed and painful at the same time it's two opposite feelings it's like negativity and positivity cannot live in your mind at the same time a negative thought is pushed out by a positive thought every single time now as you focus more on the idea of sleeping and relaxing more you can just have that in mind as you massage your brain and you just search to stimulate and to trigger that feeling of deep sleepiness and it may even be a case of instantly falling asleep it may be as simple it's turning a light switch going from a room that's lit up to a room that's completely dark instantly because we all have that ability I've fallen asleep instantly many times and I'm sure you have in the past as well I never questioned it I never wondered why sometimes instantly just fall asleep instantly like lightning fast as you still search for that trigger it could be almost like you know you see these game shows where they search for a, maybe a key of rice and they're searching for that key or for you know whatever it is and they look for it and eventually they, they do find it or when they find it they get excited and they they celebrate and when you find that button that has the word sleep on it you might just press it there and then or you might pull it out hold it in your hand look at it see the word sleep now and you may just decide to press it you may decide to just press it quickly and just feel a little bit sleepy Maybe press it again and feel a little bit a little more sleepy. Press it a third time and notice that you just your mind sort of starts to drift a bit, but it's okay because you can you can get back to focusing on but it sometimes seems as if the the thing that you were focusing on has almost disappeared from your mind and you're closer to being asleep than you are uh, and maybe you can get back to that image of the sleep now and the button and you can maybe you can see it but it's not uh, it's a bit vague but at the same time your mind wanders a little bit but you manage to come back and, and you can hear me whispering It's okay to let go and, or to continue to focus on that, that button which you can 
press again quickly. And you drift even further in your muscles, in your body, in your bones, and your skin. Everything seems to be just melting, melting away, almost melting into the bed. And it's as if you don't even have a body anymore. It's just... It's just your mind now, it's just my voice whispering in your ear, and you, you know that you don't actually have to do anything, um, because you just by, just by being Just by being here, you, you know that you know that you can so easily um, um, drift off completely. Just come. 